Hello my sunshines, welcome to my channel. I'm a YouTube. First off, I have popped on a wig cap since I'm going to be wearing a wig. I'm a wig collector, I have around 70, uh, but most of them is in storage at the moment. It's a long story. At the moment, I um, wear, I have around 30 wigs in my room and I just ordered seven new. Today I will be wearing this beauty here. Isn't she a beauty? It's a great, great color. It's a very intense red, the color. It needs to be steamed because it's getting like a little messy at the bottom, but it was so, so detangled. And I just washed her and I just did her, but I don't have a steamer as of right now. I just ordered a new steamer and I will make a video about how you maintain, how you style, how you comb, everything about wig maintenance. So let's anyway focus on this video. So I just uh, washed my face, I deep cleansed my face, and uh, now it's time for some moisturizer. Now for moisturizer, I'm using this little bottle. Now this is a Japanese brand and it's called H-A-D-A-L-A-B-O. Hadalobo, that's how I pronounce it. It is a super acid hydrating lotion, even though it comes in a liquid form. I will show you. For my face, I use around six drops. Four, five, six. Uh, and I just divide it on my hands and then I dab it onto my skin. Mm -hmm. I think it is really, really nice. I understand why this is number one in Japan, which it is. Yeah. So the packaging says, also YouTube made me buy it. I saw a video where a girl was explaining about this. Since I started using it, my skin has improved so much. Here I have a little bit of psoriasis. It's a skin conditioning where you get like scaling skin where because the skin divides eight times faster than normal cells. So it becomes very dry and it scales off. Uh, this stopped being scaling. It's not. It's not dry anymore. It started to go away, and it's just a little red mark now, which I can cover with makeup, thankfully. Anyway, that was the first step. Next step is to lip scrub. For lip scrub, I'm going to be using this little container. It's called lip scrub, and on the top it looks like this. It's lip scrub. Anyway, this comes from Shop Miss A. Shop Miss A is a shop. It's a store online where you can buy everything. All kinds of makeup, nail polish, hair stuff, all kinds of stuff. A jewelry for one dollar. It's not the best quality, but it's absolutely not bad. And you get it all for one dollar. They have brands like AOA, Elf, Clean Color, you name it, different brands. Anyway, taking this and I'm starting to scrub my lips. When you're finished scrubbing, you do this how long you feel is necessary. You take a makeup wipe, unless it's one you can eat. This one is not eatable, but you can get them. Um, and you can make your own DUI. I'll make a DUI at one point, showing you how I make my regular rip cup when I don't purchase it, and um, which is so much better. So I'm going to be making a DUI where I make lip scrubs, but I will include peppermint oil from Japan, looking like this, 100% peppermint oil uh, in my a recipe but it's not in this uh, from Shop Miss A. So I'm taking a little bit of this peppermint oil after I lip scrubbed and I'm uh, dabbing it on my lips. And you want to know why? You, I'm going to tell you why. It's for the plumping effect and I leave it on my lips. It is very strong and you will instantly feel how it starts to to um, work your lips. So you will instantly start to feel how it plumps your lips. And I let it sit for just a little bit. Like, I let it sit for about, about a minute before I clean my lips. Like that. Now it's time for the next step. After I have moist my face and let it dry, and it's a little bit sticky because this lotion makes it a little sticky, which is good because then it's ready for my face primer. For face primer, I'm going in with Wet and Wild. And this is called Coverall Price Deton. Base the tongue. It's French. So I'm taking approximately this much on my hand. I'm dividing this in my hands and trying to work it into my skin. 
especially if you wear my pores are larger in the t-zone and on my cheek and on my chin that's where i like to put it on that's how we do this and then i'm gonna do my eyelids and for my eyelids i'm also going in with wet and wild this is called photo focus looking like this and i'm just putting a little bit out of my finger like this is a little like and i'm dividing it on two fingers equally and then i start to prime my eyelids and underneath my eyes as well because i'm going to be popping eyeshadow underneath as well there we go like so now for the next step I like to put on foundation before I actually put on my eyeshadow, but a lot of people put their eyeshadow on first. But for this video, let's do the whole Madion. I'm using this. I have this jar where I mixed a lot of great shades together to make it this perfect shade that fits my skin perfectly. And they're all a oil based or water based, I don't remember. But either one, you don't want to mix oil with water and water with oil, but that's another story. So I put all this, and this is kind of high-end, even though it looks like shit in this old container, but it's great. And I'm taking my beauty blender, and I'm just popping some on, and I'm dividing it around my face. And you always want to, when you put on foundation, as you know now, you want to do this with dapping motions. And you want to make sure you cover your ears, and you go down near your neck. When you're finished with your foundation, it's time to put on a concealer. I like to clean my eye areas and just go over it again. For concealer, I actually use a foundation at the moment, and I'm using this Music Flower 101 shade 101 uh, Photogenic, which I find really awesome. It's full coverage, and it's a great light shade. I sometimes use a full foundation, but at the moment, I like to use it as my concealer. For con and when you put on concealer, you dip the tip of your beauty blender into the product. And you make some dots. Around your face, you go down in a V under your eye. Like so, I go down the line side of my noses. I put some on each side of my cheek on my chin and in my forehead pretty much my whole face anyway and i start dip the bar and i start blending it out you want to make sure you go all the way up to your last line and there you go now your face is ready to be baked now, with baking, you can use different kinds of translucent powder or powder with coloring. I choose always translucent powder. At the moment, I'm using this fine powder. It's called Face Powder White Tone. And this is from India. And I really like this powder because it's very, very fine. You can also choose to use baby powder. Now, I'm taking a good amount. And then I bend forward like this. Because otherwise, you're going to get powder all the way down of your throat. And then you let this sit for like five minutes and let it bake. And you don't touch your face in those five minutes. <laughs> After five minutes when you're done with your baking, you really need to take your time and let the powder really sit on your face for five to ten minutes so the makeup really sits and bake. Otherwise, this process won't even matter. After you've let it sit for five minutes, you grab a big kabuki brush like this and you gently, softly wipe up off wipe off all the extra powder and you do this with a light hand as you can see i do it very carefully because i don't want the makeup and the foundation underneath to be messed up like so now my next step we can do this in different steps some put on the eye the eyeshadow and eyeliner and everything before they put on foundation i like to do it this way and I also like to do my contouring and my blush and my highlighter before I make my eye makeup. So now we're going to make my contouring. And for contouring, I have a lot of high-end and I have, I have a lot of drugstore kind of foundations. They let you conceal. Con I have a lot of high-end and a lot of 
drugstore um, contouring kits and bronzers but I like to use this little kit which is very cheap from eBay and I'm using the darkest color to make my contouring. Now for brush for my contouring, if I can. wait a second, I'm using this old Zoeva brush which I think is awesome for the drops, for the job. It is for making curves in the, and sculpting your face. So you take this and you put some product on and then where you put your contouring is on you found your cheekbone is here and you put it just under. I do it this way and you can do it your way. <laughs> That's that. Now it's time for some blush. For blush, I'm going to go in with a heavy blush today. And I'm using the sleek palette inside like this. And I, I have a very fair skin. So I'm going in with the lighter shade in the middle, which will be best for me. For that, I'm using a brush like this. And I'm, when I dip into the color, I swirl it around like this to get the excess powder off. And then I start gently to like color my cheeks and this is a very heavy color but as I told you I like it to be very pigmented and I'm like like so okay I got a little much on my cheek there anyways it's a little heavy. I put a little on the tip of my nose, just a little on the chin. And so, because I like that it makes me look a little bit like a doll. Because I put a little heavy on, I'm going over it with my beauty blender. Like so. Like. Till I'm satisfied. You choose how you do it. Now I'm taking some highlighter and for this and this highlighter I made myself so it's just in an old bronzer palette like this it looks like this it's very white maybe you can see the shine there yeah I know it has a spot there doesn't matter and I'm taking the same brush and I'm swirling around I'm dusting it off and then I go to the center of my nose like this and a little on the tip I go up and down so I have the highlighter as you can see do the same and go all around my cheeks like this like so and doing the same on the other side like so and I'm taking a little uh, cubic bow on top of my cubic bow like so and I like to put a little in my temples here and here, like that, or forehead, around my temples. And then I like to put a little on my chin. So I have my highlights down. Now it's time to put on some eyeshadow. As I mentioned in the start, this is going to be a Syria where I make some very powerful, very heavy eye makeup. And I'm going to be using some very bright colors. But before I do that, I'm putting on some setting spray. Like so. And I let that dry. For eyeshadow in this tutorial, we're going to be using the Neon Stargazer. And these you can cry out. Four pounds a pop, which is 40 kroner on eBay. Uh, or wait, six dollars a pop on uh, eBay. This is Neon Green. We have it in neon lime. It looks a little bit yellow, but it is lime green. And also, we're going to be using yellow, neon yellow. But before we do the eyeshadow, we want to make some brows. So we have something to follow when we apply our um, when we apply our eyeshadow. So for my eyebrows, I'm going in with the 
this is black i'm gonna have black eyebrows today and i'm i'm shaving them off i'm letting them grow out a little bit in the front anyways i'm using this music fire eyeshadow and eyeliner it looks like this on the outside and then you open it up it looks like this on the inside and i'm using this this is a morphe brush it's morphe and it's brush number m160 and it has an angled brush head and you can see i used it earlier so now i'm taking and i'm just popping on a little bit of product on my brush and then i'm going to make my eyebrows i hope i can make them straight today when your eye i think this is a little bit dry my gel liner for and for making it more vivid and alive again you can use Ingla Dura Line. it comes a little vial looking like this and you just need one drop and you take one drop in the top it has a little like a dropper and you take one drop in the top of your gel liner and then you just take your brush and then you mix it around to make it alive again if it's gone a little bit dry on you and then make sure you wipe it off on the edges and then you start fitting in again. Now you can choose to set your eyebrows when you use an eye gel liner and I will not do this today but normally I would use a color from Makeup Geek called Corrupt when I make black eyebrows but I don't have to set these since it's a very good even though very cheap a uh, dark eyeliner I can highly recommend this but if you're going out I would set it anyway now it's time for some eyeshadow and today I'm going to be using these two brushes, pencil brushes, both of them, for putting on my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to start with the small pension brush, and this is from Zueva. First I'm going to be using the neon yellow, yellow lemon, lemon yellow, and I'm going to be using a small brush. And because I used it before to make this look yesterday, I'm going to use a little cleaner like this. I will recommend you clean your brushes at least one time a week, but uh, that's what I do. Uh, but for when you just need to switch them up, unless you have to use them on a client, then you have to wash them every time. But if you just use them on yourself, you can use a little container like this with a little uh, sponge inside, which is kind of rough. And you can take off the little um, powdery excess pigment from your brush in yellow. And I'm just dipping into it on both sides. Oh, I forgot one vital step. Before I put on my colors, I'm, I know I already um, primed my eyelids, but I'm going to be taking a, a jumbo stick like this. This is white and it's, uh, it's like milk with from NYX. I don't have milk at the moment because this is cheaper. It's $1 on Shop Miss A. It's sold out at the moment. It's from LA Colors and it's really just as good as milk. So I'm putting on a base. And now it's time for some eyes again. And I'm dipping into this yellow neon. I'm starting to pop it on and pack it on my inner eye like this. I'm just packing on a sheet load. Like so. And I start Packing it on. When you have put this on in this amount of layer, like in your inner corners and bringing it up to the center of your pupils, then I'm gonna take the lime green. Just gonna clean the brush really fast. Taking the lime green like this and putting on some product. And then I'm starting to blend this in.
for the last step oh i'm taking this very green <clears throat> forest green yeah. eyeshadow i'm using the same brush now neon eyeshadows can be a little chalky and a little hard to work with but and this looks you cannot see how intense this is as i can but it's very intense and very beautiful now i'm starting on the other eye like bringing it down in the front here i'm gonna blend it out afterwards now i'm taking a bigger pencil brush like this and i'm like Going back and forth on top of it and blending it out a little bit. And underneath. And there we go. It's a little hard to see how pretty this actually is because the light is very sharp, but this is how it looks without the light. I think it's very pretty. It's much more intense in real life than on screen and i'm sorry for that anyway i'm going to start to put some eyeliner on i'm just grabbing a few different eyeliners but i'm using this wave one to make the start here but i want to make some pointed edges in the center of my eye so that's what this comes in so like so now i'm grabbing a different eyeliner i'm using this it's called carbon it's one dollar on it's called album it's one dollar on ebay but it's really really black and it's a liquid eyeliner and it comes like this i'm putting it on when you're satisfied with your liner you stop and if you're not satisfied you keep working until you get to a point where you're like bam i need it there we go now remember you guys makeup is makeup is for playing and it's you know it's you can always change it so i like it like this now how you like it and when you stop is individual and i don't force anybody to do anything if you don't want to wing the island if you think it ruins it if you don't want to put it down here you don't have to so now it's time to put on mascara now, for when you put on mascara, you have to be very careful not to ruin your eyeshadow. So I'm using this little gadget and I'm putting it on here so I can paint my lashes completely. It's just an example. I'm going to do it without, but you can use this when you, it costs one dollar and it's really clever when you have to put on mascara. Now I'm using the end to color the inner like so and then i'm dipping it again and then i'm taking from the top very carefully not to get it on my eyeshadow and then i give a little coat on on the bottom not too heavy i got Now, normally when I make it look like this, and I actually plan to do this with this, I was gonna put on contact lenses in black, but I forgot. So since I forgot, I'm just gonna head on to the lips before we put on some lashes. I'm just gonna take a random um, lip liner because I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's uh, Scorpio for my lips. Now I'm gonna take this and that's that for the lips. Now it's time for some eyelashes and then it's time for you got it hair. For the lashes I'm gonna go be going in with these really heavy 60s very beautiful lashes and we got one here and we got one here so i'm taking this glue 
and I'm using it in white. I don't like to use black for my eyes. Like so. While this dries, we're going to take the other one, pop on a little bit of glue, be gentle with the glue. So as you can see, this is a very completed look, but now we need the hair. And as I told you, we're going to go in with this wig. Maybe it doesn't fit the lipstick. We can always change that up. This is a very cheap wig and it's not very cool because it has this band up here. But I'm trying to hide that as best as I can. And the look turns out like this. <laughs> And if you like this kind of wild makeup, stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. I was five, and I was six. six. We rode on horses Bye. made of sticks. He wore black and I.